Hi guys, so in this video, I'll just be giving a little refresher on JavaScript's native sort method, how to use it for numbers and letters, and sorting by a specific property for an array of objects. Okay, so first we'll go over letters. Now, if I go over to MDN, we can see that the sort method sorts elements of an array in place and returns the array. So one thing to note is that the sort method does mutate the array that we are sorting. So you can see here this array of months. Once you sort it, you can just console log months and it will have changed. Okay. So the default sort order is built upon converting the elements into the strings and then comparing their sequences of UTF-16 code units values. So this means that if the words in our array all have the same casing, either all lowercase or all uppercase uh, or matching cases for each letter position in the word. So for instance, if all the words have only the first letter capitalized, then we can just use the native sort method as is, and it should output the correct alphabetical order. So in our example, uh, we have this array of words and now if we were to change this to all have the same casing then we can just use the native sort method as is and then console.log our words array and you should be able to see that it has sorted it in alphabetical order properly but if we put the casing back to what it was and then we run it again you can see that it has now changed the sort order and this is not what we want so how do we sort it in alphabetical order if the casing is different well on mdn you can see that uh, down here sort takes an optional compare function and the compare function needs to take two elements, one which would represent the first element and the second which would represent the second to compare. And then down here, we can see that if our compare function returns a negative number, then A will be sorted at a lower index than B, but if it returns a positive number, then B will be sorted at a lower index than A. Okay, and this is an example of this compare function. So now in our case, we can just put our compare function in here and I'm going to be using ES6. So it's going to take A and B, which is our first and second elements. And then it's going to compare them by comparing A. If A is less than B, then we would, and I'm going to use a ternary statement here, return negative one, otherwise return one. So if all the elements had the same casing, then we wouldn't have to change anything. However, they all have uh, slightly different casings, so we would just make them all the same. So I can just change them to all be lowercase. And then same with the second element. Okay. And then now if we run it, we can see that it works. So one thing to note is that since A and B are strings, we can't use the math operators like plus or minus. We would need to use compare operators like less than or greater than. So in this case, we're using less than. So we're saying if the value of A is less than the value of B, then return one, which would order A to be at a lower index than B, otherwise return one, which would order B to be less than A. Okay, and one more thing to note is that changing the casing here inside the compare function will not actually change the casing in the array. As we can see, our output still has preserved the original casing. And this is because we're only changing the casing for these elements inside our compare function, just for the purposes of comparing. Okay, and if you're not sure why uppercase letters come before lowercase letters, by just sorting it with the native method, it's because the ASCII value for uppercase A through Z is 65 through 90, whereas the ASCII value for lowercase A through Z is 97 through 122. And you can just check that by, in the console, doing a um, char code at zero which is the index of the string. So that means capital A is 65, and if you check capital 
C is 90, and lowercase a is 97, so capital A would be ordered before lowercase a. Okay, so now we'll take a look at numbers, and if we sort uh, this array with the native sort method, and then console log it, we can see that it does not sort our array by the value of the number. And this is because the sort method converts the elements into strings before comparing. So we're going to need to pass a compare function. So on MDN, uh, if we continue down, we can see that it shows us a compare numbers function. And this is because A and B are going to be numbers. If A minus B will return a negative number, putting A first. And if A minus B returns a positive number, then A is greater and it'll put A second. So we can just do that here. So with ES6, we would just return A minus B. And now if we run it, we can see that it is now sorted by its value. Okay, and finally we have an array of objects. So I have an array of people where each person is an object. And let's say I want to sort people by their age. Then I can just go people.sort and pass our compare function. And I'm going to pass a.age because a would be our first element which is an object and I'm going to grab its age and because it's a number I'm going to use the math operator and I'm going to subtract b.age so we're going to just compare ages and then I'll console.log people and run it and now you can see everyone is sorted according to their age now if we want to sort people by their name, then we can just modify this a little bit, and I will grab their name, and because name is a string, we're going to use the less than compare operator, and we'll return negative 1 if a is less than b, and 1 if a is greater, and then we also want to change the casing. and then we'll run it and you can see everyone is sorted according to their name even though Carrie is lowercase okay that's mostly it for the native javascript sort function you can check mdn as a resource if you need further clarification and if you have any questions corrections or suggestions please comment below and as always like and subscribe and thanks for watching bye